Hello and welcome to my new channel Ghost Modeling. I'm a beginner in scale modeling and I will certainly make a lot of mistakes. But it's well known that we all learn from our mistakes. On this episode you can watch me how I build a Russian T28 medium tank. So at first, I started with the running gear, which had a lot of parts and a ton of work. The main part was to clean these little things here. Then I attached everything on the lower plate. The fitting was not so bad, but here I have no reference because this is one of my first builds in a long long time. For the running gear we have two options, an open one and a covered one. I choose the open one because I will make new fenders and at this point I did not know how they are gonna look at the end, so I take the safe way. When I assembled the left side, I realized that some things run out of hand. I made a few mistakes and some parts are wrong numbered in the manual. I had to rebuild the whole running gear. I don't know why these parts of the running gear are teasing me. You naughty naughty. You teasing me, you naughty naughty. <laughs> Here are some standard things, gluing everything in place and attaching the round plate to the lower hull. By the way, this is a model kit from Swefta, it's 1 to 35th scale, the mold is slightly soft and for me hard to handle. Compared to the other models they are really cheap, Dami and Dragon kits are more expensive but as I say, I missed the compulsion. This process goes easy and straightforward. The substructure of the fenders is time consuming but necessary. Since I made one or two small mistakes, I had to cheat a bit to adjust everything. The upper hull were just a few simple parts and fits good together. The original vendors were out of scale, so I built a new one, from scratch. I take a 0.3 copper sheet and start the cutting. The old ones I use as a template and as a parts dispenser. For the next time, I use sharper blades. Then I send it to copper for gluing. I will not build it exactly the same as the original because I will add a few field repairs, improvised repairs with some sheets and angles. Then I put everything into a press to make everything straight again.
I used the rotary tool to get rid of the hard super glue and smooth out the copper sheet. Before I can paint these, I have to clean them with a lacquer thinner. So, the next step is to adjust the couple of handles to the tank. I super glued them in place and made even minor adjustments with a file and sandpaper. Of course I had to be careful that I didn't damage the small plastic rivets and hinges, which of course I didn't manage everywhere so I had to sand them down completely. I cut out a few of the small hinges and made them thinner, and then glued them to the new fender. I bent the metal parts into shape, and with a 0.8mm drill I drilled a few more holes and bent them into shape with a pair of tweezers. It's my first model, where I do something like this, I just wanna try it out. I use black super glue to fill the gaps between the two parts. Here I tried to make a new hinge made out of a piece of copper. It should look like a quick fit repair. I built two individual parts and bent them in my little bending bench and then connected them with a 0.5mm copper wire. I'm not used to work this small and let's be honest it only worked with moderate success. I'm not disappointed, but at this moment I just can't do it better. As next, I assembled the right side of the tank. I finished the underside of the tank and put the wheels on the running gear. I sanded all the tires with a rotary tool. The felt 700 tires were cleaned in a short time. The assembly of the tracks was easy by hand, although I would prefer workable metal tracks. That I have assembled the chain so early will be later turned out as a big error.
Unfortunately, I have no video material from the turret, because I forgot to empty the memory card, so I didn't have any more memory space. In the next episode it's all about painting and weathering. So this was my first video, I hope you liked it or at least you find it a little bit interesting. There's certainly a lot to improve, thank you for watching.